Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again with another DC Universe Online video. And today we're going to be showing you a feat achievement. And the character I'm going to be using to get this feat is Hal Jordan. And it's called Legends of Light 2. Okay, so basically this is going to be worth a 10 point feat. But you have to do this multiple times. The one way you got to be able to do this is you got to use Hal Jordan a multiple times throughout the day with resets so if you reset him every single time and you try it using this character in legends pve um content you will get this feat you have to do this 50 times in 50 places you can do it in the same place or you can wait amongst a certain amount of days to do this i probably waited 50 days in general to get this feat but the whole point about this is that we're going to be showing you the boss fights and what they're going to be requiring. We're in Bloodhaven right now, a city that has been um, nuked by Kemway. Um, basically, this is the new adopted home for Nightwing, who is going to be the leader of this um, part of the city away from Gotham, and he's gonna leave Batman to do Gotham and whatnot. This boss fight that we are fighting was uh, a civilian that was injured in the fight that got mutated with the situation and he's basically um, going amongst talking uh, on previous situations and letting us know that how he feels about the situation but he's gonna be bringing up a lot of his old um, apprentices meaning his psychic uh, feelings towards these characters and he's gonna use their powers and whatnot for the most part we have to defeat all of them before we start to work on the boss fight itself. So we're going to be fighting Sinestro right now. You know, I mean, illusions and whatnot. Uh, these illusions are going to be based on superheroes that he once knew of. So that's what basically what it is. Giganta is in the background. Bizarro, um, Sinestro, um, and Gorilla Grodd. So we are going to go closer and closer into this... Um, this feed that is going to be called Legends of Light 2 that you can get with Hal Jordan. You have to play with Hal Jordan 50 times in PvE Legends. And what's going to happen is you will be giving yourself a chance to get this feed. The one thing about a feed that you guys most likely should know and should know um, are... After you complete it, you don't actually have to go back and ever do it again. So this character, after finishing it um, a certain amount of times, you don't ever have to complete it again or do it again. And at that particular point, that is one of the best things that you can possibly do at the time. And um, basically, that is going to basically give you uh, a chance to use other characters that are going to be requiring the same feat that you would have to use them a certain amount of times. So now we're going to be talking to Major Force, and Major Force is on the scene uh, because Amanda Waller ended up putting him on the scene to check out the place and, I guess, see what Nightwing is up to. So in that process, we have to um, defeat him so we can make sure that we move on to the next part. And he's talking to Nightwing and saying a bunch of stuff. And um, I think that outfit and that style would be really cool where you can get severed with that type of material. Um, if you do ever talk to one of the devs on DC, talk to them about Major Force in this mission called um, Bloodhaven. It's actually a really good style. That F, all that, all that outfit looks really good. It looks really good. Um, last but not least, um, as we are going through all these mechanics and whatnot in the game boss fights, um, you are seeing the avenged. Uh, Bloodhaven situation we had to face him two times and then we had to face um, now major force right now for the third boss and we're moving closer closer and it doesn't stop just there there is another boss that's on the way and you can see that he's using a little bit of a quantum moves and whatnot he's a brawling type and um, he has a couple moves in his arsenal that are pretty good you know what I mean um, but the one thing about it is, is just that his style looks really good. Um, he is using quantum powers, and it looks really good, man. He's using quantum powers, and it looks good. I would like to see Major Force in the near future, and I hope they bring out something with Captain Atom, because Major Force and Captain Atom and Trusher and a bunch of these other characters on Lex Luthor's team 
for the army and situation for him being a president, uh, Captain Adam is on that team. But I would like to see them do something with that series of like, you know, I mean, showing that showcase and whatnot. And it would be pretty something amazing to watch or even to participate in, to be honest, and bringing a new character. I have seen DC do a lot of things over the years, um, like with New Genesis and Orion and and bringing out Ray and doing all these great stuff like that. And they likewise at the beginning, <laughs> when you are playing the game, you can actually make your character into a character that they don't actually have in the game just yet. So it's amazing how they have that type of you know sneak preview hints and whatnot. So we come to the last fight now. <laughs> Changing topics, we come into Kemoy, and Kemoy is uh, very um, made by Tio Morrow, and Tio Morrow has made this situation, and he kept it in his laboratory, and this was his, you know, I mean, his ultimate plan, his ultimate plan to do something towards the city and whatnot. Um, as we as we take this character down, and we have to go through the series, he is a large character. He's enlarged. And likewise, he is using um, hand blasters, and he has these um, animations that come into, you know, I mean, into his like uh, the series of events that you have to go through. When he gets on his knees, it's a, a chance for you to do the most damage at that particular time before he gets back onto his his legs. And what happens is that he gets like more defense and all that stuff when he starts standing up. So he's staying down for a very long time. He's using hand blasters. Um, he has a jump move. Uh, there's a lot of situations where you can use um, the explosive barrels, and they really do take a lot of his life away. And there's a lot of much of healing barrels throughout the areas and whatnot. If you come closer to the the guys in the yellow suits, they will spray um, or uh, they would spray him with some type of chemical to not contain uh, to contain the chemical itself. And you, I think you most likely have to keep them alive. You don't want to let them get injured or hurt. So that's just one thing you want to keep them alive in the time being. So I think that will be a feat in, um, like if you're doing it with your characters, there's many feats that you can get in here. The explosive feat with grabbing the canisters and using towards um, his, uh, the canister feat with the explosive. Every barrel has a different number for it. You know, there is... A orange barrel and a red barrel you know those can help you get feats too but for the most part we're just doing working on chemo and we're trying to deplete his life to be honest we're just trying to stop him from doing what he needs to do um in that sense when we continuously do this for the time being for the last couple minutes and it was not too long but it was pretty you know straightforward and whatnot i went with my loadout how jordan is a really good character to use in pve he has a lot of um long range attacks and likewise uh he has lots of close range attacks and whatnot but um overall wise like he can really stay away from the fight and still do damage and still gain a lot of um attention from doing what he has he has a lot of mid-range and long-range moves so he's a really fun character to use if you have a chance try him out this is called Legends of Light 2.